we're going to talk about bunion surgery, hallux rigidus and hallux valgus. The code descriptions there, 28289 and 28299 is what we're getting ready to, uh, to talk about. First, even though this gets lumped in with the bunions, codes 28289 and 28291 are really arthritis toes. They're not bunionectomies. Um, you now, keep in mind, and I think this is important, if you never have to code these bunion procedures, good for you, but you may, want to, you may want to watch how this all comes together because some of the takeaways that you get from knowing how CPT works can be transferable to other areas. So if you never code bunions, fine, but you know, sometimes it really helps to see how CPT works because sometimes they mirror that in other parts of the book. And what I put together is a whole bunch of diagrams that show you how the CPT code works with the anatomical location. So this is not a bunion. This is arthritis of the toe. Uh, the x-ray is the big toe there, how they call it, the head of the first foot bone, the metatarsal, with the base of the first toe bone. Yeah, this is really deep. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, the first toe bone is proximal phalanx, and then the two little baby bones, sesamoid, underneath the head of the first bone, the metatarsal. This is often referred to as the MPP joint, and it really makes wearing shoes difficult. So what's new this year? Well, they've added a code, 28291. The 28289 has always been there, I do believe. If, um, yeah, I think it's, it's just been, been tweaked a little bit. It, this is the, is the code for general treatment of the arthritic toe, the house ridges. They clean up. They remove bone spurs, uh, general debridement cleanup code. If they put an implant in, then you go to the new code in 2017, 28291. So now to the real big changes. And it's kind of uh, interesting to watch how this evolved. And this is the hallux valgus. See, this is a fancy word for bunionectomy codes. And there's a nasty looking bunion on the right hand side. These are the codes starting with 28292 and going to 28299. Uh, there's one new code, and then they've uh, reword, reworded some of these codes. And the codes, as, as CPT shows patterns in this, it starts off with a very basic bunion, and then the more aggressive procedures, the more detailed procedures. So we're going to start off with the easy one. The very first one is where they there's that bony growth that shows there in the red part on the right-hand side. It's called the... Um, medial eminus, and you'll hear where they'll take the bone cutter and shave that off along with soft tissue removal. They clean that bump up, and that's a simple bunionectomy, and that code is, or that procedure is embedded in all the other codes indented underneath there. It's just part of doing the bunionectomy. Now, when they start doing osteotomies, then you're going to go into the codes indented underneath there, more involved. Now, what you're going to see this year that surprised me a little bit is the removal of the eponyms. They used to call some of these procedures the McBride procedure or the Keller procedure. So when I looked into the rationale and why they changed, they said they want to get away from like cookie cutter, oh, this is a McBride, nothing else. Because doctors will say, we, uh, you know, I performed a modified McBride. Now, what does that mean? Um, they want it, they, for accuracy purposes, they want us to code what is being done, not the, the eponym phrase. Oddly enough, the eponyms are still in the alphabetic index. So, okay, good reference there. This is a good drawing I, I purchased, actually, because I want you to, to glance at the code selections you have for bunionectomy, and you're going to see some anatomical markers I want you to feel comfortable with. 2829. Two starts with the correction of the proximal phalanx. It's the first, first section of the toe. And it's circled in red on your screen there. And it's, it, you can see the yellow. Now let's look at, you're going to see some documentation. It's important. You're going to see a lot of proximal and a lot of distal. So you have to, the devil's in the details on this one too. The yellow, well, first of all, the kind of purplish color are your ankle bones. We're going to forget those. But we're going to go into the foot bones, which are the metatarsals. So if you have your hand out in front of you, you can follow along and say, these are your foot bones. 
starting with the green is your proximal phalanx. Phalanx are your toes. And then the very tip there is the distal phalanx. So you're going to see where doctors will document that they're working on the proximal metatarsal. Be careful not to confuse that with proximal phalanx. So yeah, your proximal and where you're working is, is an important piece. So let's start with the basic code, which I've already talked about. 28292 is the basic clean up the bunion. It's a mild bunion. You just have to shave a little bit. But what happens when the foot is severely deformed it's going to require more of an alignment. You may even see wires come out. And uh, let's go to the next screen. This is a good one because it shows the x-ray. And depending on how deformed, and if you want to see some ugly pictures, you can go out to Google and, and, and Google. Um, just so metatarsal spelled funny there. Um, but you'll go out to Google and you'll get some plenty of pictures of deformed toes. Any kind of work on the sesamoid bones are included in the code. That's just part of the cleanup process. Let's go on. This is something new. Let's see if I can get this, see if it moves. Watch your screen. This is pretty cool. Uh, this, is, this is the realignment, which is the whole purpose of cutting the bone and making an osteotomy, is that the bone uh, wouldn't be able to be straightened without cutting. OK, that's getting obnoxious. But the bottom part is where they're shaving off the bump, the medial eminence. And then the top part of the proximal failing, it looks like they're taking off a hunk out of there. So now let's tie that to the coding. Okay, I didn't put the codes on here. I probably should have, but I did in my notes. And if you want to follow along, the this is uh, the number. This is not starting with the the general simple bunionectomy two eight two nine two, but the proximal metatarsal osteotomy is code two eight two nine five. Because it's a smartest metatarsal, it means the doctor's taking a piece of the foot bone. That's the yellow portion on the right-hand side of the screen. And if they go into the distal towards the toe and take a piece, then that's code 28296. We're getting ready to have another quiz question, so you may want to write those codes down to save you some time. The green uh, first metatarsal and medial conform joint arthrodesis, that's a fusion. And you'll know that, that the documentation, hopefully, the documentation can be some challenging on these bunionectomy procedures. They're long and detailed. OK, let's go down. The next blue one, proximal phalanx osteotomy. We are now on the toe, not in the foot bones. And that's 28298. And then the worst case scenario is when they have to do multiple double osteotomies. And that's 28299. 